The Coca-Cola Company, Keurig Dr. Pepper, and PepsiCo are bringing consumers more choices with less sugar than ever before. In fact, nearly 60% of beverages sold contain zero sugar. Visit balanceus.org to learn more. Hey guys, if you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast with everything you need all in one place. Let me explain. Anchor has the tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. When hosting on Anchor, you can distribute your podcast on listening platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and more. And trust me, guys, it works. It's everything you need to make a podcast all in one place. And the best of all, it is totally free. Yes, totally free. So download the Anchor app today or go to anchor.fm to get started. Right now, the link is being a little bit finicky right now. Um, she says it's going, but I don't see her in the lobby. Um, so, yeah, I was recording. Excuse me. But I accidentally clicked stop. I don't know why my dumbass thought it stayed. You know, it would ask me, do you want to stop? But it didn't. So here I am, basically kind of like re-recording the intro. Um, but either way, don't worry. You didn't miss a lot. Well, really miss anything at all. Um, the intro just was five, six minutes of me just blabbering. I'm just keeping it alive. Um, I don't know if she says it's going, but. Odd and weird. Oh, it's not going. Um, she told me to shut the fuck up and hold on. Just kidding. She didn't tell me that. Um, oh, and also, I'd like to just thank you guys, and I'm just super grateful of of all my listeners, of everyone that has listened. Um, one of my goals is uh, to hit 500 listens by the end of 2022. We are at about 322, 322 listens slash plays. So we are almost there, guys. Um, let's see what she say uh, there. Um... Hmm. Just having some technical difficulties has me guest audience producer. Uh, Still so no people in the lobby. She's inside. We're getting things figured out. Don't worry. Oh, yep. I see her. Oh, there it is. Can you see me? Yeah. Can you see me? Yeah, you're pixely, but I can see it. <laughs> Shut up. As as long as it fucking works. Okay. Uh, because well, it wanted me to use my MacBook's uh, camera, and that one's not the greatest, so... Um... So I decided on. to fucking just do my phone. Oh, okay. Yeah, because last time I, I don't know. I mean, I don't even think you even knew about me having a podcast. I did one with Adam uh, Moreno. I saw that, and I I, I heard it, actually. uh, Because 
Because I actually, I actually heard it on Spotify and everything. Uh, okay, because on the hit with his, uh, I use my MacBook and uh, uh-huh. going back at it, I could see just how blurry my shit was. I'm like, oh, I don't. I mean, granted, you can just listen to the audio, but it looked weird. Uh, I was like, I don't know. I don't know if I really, really dig it. So, just oh, using my phone no, right now. I, I was listening to the audio and it wasn't bad. It was actually fine. And um, I think you had posted a, a video on it, and I actually thought. I mean, because I'll, because uh, I've been trying to obviously get a lot of people that I know. Obviously, um, I tried getting Brandon. I mean, I tried getting Brandon. He canceled last minute, so I got Adam. Very last minute, he joined. He decided to do it. Brandon, who? Uh, I don't remember how to say his last name. Like Blickensturf or whatever. Blickensturf or some BS like that. Yeah. Something something like that. Yeah. Um, uh, he couldn't do it last minute, and so obviously I got Adam. Um, Are we starting right now? Oh yeah, it's going. I already did the intro here. Oh, I already, I, I, I already did the intro and everything. I, I I got here. I'll even show you. We got about almost. Oh shit! Hold on. Let's see if we can try to get it. Yeah, we got almost six minutes in. Well, I didn't know that. You can't tell me we were starting. I didn't know that. Okay. Well, I already did the intro, and so, but. So how's how's the whole podcast thing coming out then? I was there, uh, last night actually. I was looking at your YouTube videos. How's that going? I mean, it's going. <laughs> it's just one of those things. I've just been busy with life, where I'm just trying to trying to be consistent. But sometimes it can be pretty hard. The podcast is one I've been consistent since uh, July. Granted, yeah, it's not yeah. the greatest podcast. Obviously, I mean, I gotta. Right learn it i gotta learn how to do a lot of this stuff um right. but uh some of the whole youtube thing but it's just been super busy and kind of how it is i mean i've been yeah st- uh studying to get my real estate license i saw um, that on one so, of your actual videos and i was like i didn't know you were going for real estate that's actually pretty cool well because I, I, I went I, to I did it. oh you can go you can, you can go Oh, no, I was going to say, I didn't think you were, like, going to go into that. I thought that you were probably going to something, like, more different, but that's actually pretty cool. Okay, I was, um, when I left to UNL, um, mm-hmm. it was for computer science, um, but let's just say, um, you know, not being home and anything. I didn't party. I just didn't go to class, and because it just wasn't interesting. Was it well the first month I did, but then I don't know if it was me a lot in learning computer science, but I was I was struggling just the computer science part, not the math or anything, just the computer science. I and mean, I was I don't again I don't know if I just wasn't studying right, but I'm like yeah no if it's moving this too fucking fast I. I don't want to do really? it. Really? And I so... I to actually kind of catch on to that, like, quick. I like, thought I, so, I, too, I remember, because... I you was going to go into that. So that's why I yeah. was like, okay, like... You know. I thought so, too. <laughs> Until oh, that yeah. happened, and... Yeah, and I, I was like, eh. And so then I wanted to do... Because I've been wanting to do something with a business. Like, I wanted to start a business in... But, like, build it off computer science... And so I want to get business management, but they basically said, for your horrible ass GPA, uh, a lot of the classes you can only take right now are are these classes. And the stupid right. thing, uh, you know how Mayhew uh, was always telling us, you know, two years of Spanish, blah, 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 most college or oh, whatever. Yeah. You yeah. know, they need four years of Spanish. No shit. So when I went in, I had to do, basically, I was going to do two years of Spanish. I'm like, this is, this is dumb. Why am I taking Spanish for, when I already did two years, and they're like, oh, yeah, UNL requires four, yada, yada, yada. Like, this is dumb. I I remember her saying that, you know, 
for any college classes and things like that, you needed two years minimum. You don't understand? Like, they weren't going to ask for more than that. That's why I was like, okay, like, we all take two years of, of Spanish. So mm-hmm. I didn't think they were going to ask for more. I didn't know that. Yeah, and, that was pretty cool. And, and, and they did. And so, I mean, I, as much as I didn't want to do it, I did it. But, again, I just stopped showing the class. And then COVID happened. So I had to oh, come yeah. back because they're like, you know, two weeks. I was like, cool, two weeks. I could go home. I mean, chill there, maybe work. And then it turned to a month and it kind of years. On from there. Right. And when I went back home, I'm like, I, I'm not the type of person to do online. Uh, I already didn't go to class in person, granted online. And so I decided right. to work. I go online. Yeah, so I just decided to work. I worked, and then I moved, technically moved back to Lincoln, Mm -hmm. and then kind of didn't know what I wanted to do, but I still wanted to do something with business. I still wanted to do something with business. Like, I wanted just just to do something, like, being being like some sort of entrepreneur. Like, I wanted something like that, but I didn't know what what to do and so it kind of just went on i mean the, just working here not not really expecting much and then yeah i believe in say. yeah i believe in stuff that happens kind of like it happens for a reason because i was oh, on youtube yeah. yeah i was on youtube and again just minding my business i never watched not a single video of real estate. I didn't even know. I I didn't even. Like, I've never watched it. Uh-huh. One video popped up of real estate. Uh, this guy named Graham Stephan, and I just caught on. I'm like, you know what? That sounds interesting. And I heard of real estate before. And me, one of my biggest goals is to be a millionaire by the age of thirty. Oh, and I'm like, <laughs> I was like, and in my head, I'm like, if I want to do that. How do I reach it? Because if I stick to, like, working my way up the corporate ladder, mm-hmm. it's going to take a very long time to reach it. I won't – I'd probably yeah. be, like, in my 40s right. or 50s. So reach the goals, right. So I'm like, how do I reach it by then? I have – um, I mean, now I'm 21, but I'm like, I have nine years to do it. How can How can I do it? And – that popped up, and I'm like, let me learn real estate, get my license, be a realtor to know more of real estate so then I can invest in real estate while still being a realtor. And then I thought podcasts were boring. Again, yeah. it popped up on YouTube. And so I listened to it, and I caught on, and here I am. And so if I can do that, implement that with uh, real estate, get a gathering with the podcast so then I can have a reach with the with uh, real estate kind of just go from there and I'm like yeah if I want to reach it I have I have to find ways on how to reach it because if I just work try to get up the corporate ladder I won't get there and so I right. have to find a way to to reach so, it so how would what would you say to like people who are like kind of starting to find an interest in that kind of like real estate type of deal, what would you say or what advice would you kind of give them to that? Like to do it or to like... Yeah, yeah, like to do it. Like what? Like what is some like tips and advice that you've learned along the ways? You well, know honestly... Because real estate, because yeah. real estate, I mean, it's it's a, it takes a process to learn all type of things like that. Mm-hmm. It, know, so. Real estate can be really, really hard. Just kind of the only hard thing, it's a lot... It can be a lot of math. Um, it it oh, can yeah, be a lot yeah, of math. Cool. And yeah. um, uh, real estate is just one of those things where, I mean, it's like anyone. It's competition. How how can you make yourself stand out and, you know, just kind of be the best one? Be like, and, yeah. Heck, and, I mean, I don't really know what advice I have. I mean, I'm kind of still learning along the way. But one I, one I did actually learn is, as weird as it sounds, uh, I guess reading kind of 
get the knowledge while you can study, learn mm -hmm. anything that you can find. Because I, um, I read this book, uh, called rich dad, poor dad, and it sounds corny as shit, you know, rich dad, poor dad, right, yeah. you, you read it. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. sounds corny as shit of my rich dad said yeah. this, but my poor dad, it sounds corny as shit. But as you go, you're like, honestly, thinking about it, you're like, holy shit, it's kind of right. Like when you look at the right. when you look at the poor dad side and the rich dad side, you're, you're like, mm -hmm. honestly, I can, I I see what this what this book means, and um, I was like, holy shit, that's kind of what opened me to want to be doing it more, and not yeah, just real estate, yeah. but I've been also high like been wanting to learn financial education because that's one of the things they do not teach you in high school how the hell do you how do you use your money wisely that, 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 that's very true and i think the only person that i guess ever taught us about like taxes and things like that would have been foster i think he probably would have been the only one you know what i'm saying he was a history teacher but i feel mm -hmm. like other than that like um i mean i took a business class now a business class uh, with Sinner. And, I mean, she taught me about, like, stocks and things like that. But not once that was I ever taught, like, about the taxes and, and loans and, like, certain things like that where you kind of expect to know once you get out of high school. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I understand that point of view, yeah, for sure. And that's, and that's what I was talking about a lot because that's also the thing. How can I reach my goal to be a millionaire? If mm -hmm. I don't know, if I'm poor in financial education, because yeah, yeah, you, yeah, because on the book it says it's not how much money you make, it's how much you keep. That's because very true. because at the end of the day, let's say you make, I don't know, thirty dollars an hour. You come home with a nice check, but then by the end of that week, you're left with maybe a thousand eight hundred dollars. But you seem yeah. good because you're making thirty dollars an hour, but yeah. then you also look at your account and you're like, "Well, I only have eight hundred dollars for only, mm -hmm. and I get thirty an hour. That's kind of yeah. bad. Like that's yeah, kind of bad be left, to be left with so little. I mean, yeah, I mean, I understand that point of view as well. So, I mean, I guess mm -hmm. there's just there's just a lot of different types of things that they don't teach in high school where I feel like they should probably start teaching i mean i know teachers don't get paid a lot you know but i feel like just the bare minimum to be teaching high school students how to be prepared as, as they call it to go into the real world i mean that is something that i feel like should be a big a big learning on kids as as they would call it you know yeah and the problem with teachers nowadays is they they exp they think college is the only way but as time has gone on uh, no, you know, it, I, I've, I, you know, I ain't gonna lie. In high school, I was like, shit, like I gotta go to college. Like I was so peer pressured, you know, like because you have to go to college, you have to get a degree, you have to have a title to make money. And now that I'm like 21, now you know, soon to be 22, I'm learning to be like, oh shit, like that's not the only way to make money. I mean, a degree is nice to have a degree under your belt. That's cool. But if you're not going to be doing nothing with it, so, like, if you're not going to be nothing with it, so it doesn't do any good to you. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I feel like it's just the job that you're in, uh, your skills that you know. Me, personally, I I did try out college, but I didn't end up liking it. So I just was like, whatever, you know. I, I feel like it didn't do any good to me, me personally. I mean, the people that are going to college, I mean, props to them because it's hard. I mean, mm -hmm. on top of that, working and paying bills and things like that, but... I don't necessarily think that you need a college degree to to succeed in life, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what I started learning because if you also pay attention, I mean, I granted, I mean, I, I had to be studying a lot, but I'm seeing a lot of young people doing, like, making all the, like, obviously, like, the millions and whatever. I mean, granted, it's, like, California, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but still exactly. watching, it's like I'm seeing a lot of kids my age, if not still older, doing this, and a lot of them aren't making, aren't don't yeah. have a degree at all, and also, again with the whole financial education thing, and yeah. but doing a bunch of research, 
uh, I think they said, uh, I think like less than 40% of students who graduate college use their degree uh, for wow. for their actual purpose. Because uh, cause, uh, think about it. You can do four, six years of uh, college, and let's say you're becoming a teacher. You become a teacher. Great. Depending in, on how scholarships and everything went, maybe you just have a little bit of student debt. Now, some of you can pay off, whatever. But you start off, and you're only making, I don't know, only like $4,000 a month, $3,500 yeah. a month. And you're like, you know, some people want to be like, oh, yay, look at me. I have a college degree under my belt. But then... Others might look at yeah. that and say, 3500 for the five years that you what, wasted in college? Went to school, yeah. It's, yeah. Like, it's like someone, it's like my buddy at Walmart makes the same, and this dude's only been working there for four years, and he's and he's a manager he there. High, like he, yeah, yeah, it. he only had a high, and, high school degree. Yeah, yeah, and it's like uh, more and more that I've been seeing a bunch of that stuff. Uh, again, the financial education, uh watching a lot of videos i'm like you know what i mean props to my girlfriend i mean she's going to college she's doing it i i, I it's not that i don't support college i it, if you need it again like medical uh for stuff yeah, you need it yeah. for sure i'll support i support them I'm like you know I, i'm like do it you if you need it for that do it i support you doing it um yeah. but it's but on some people who don't know what they want to do with their lives and yeah, think I college think is the way. only way. It's like, it's like, cause I remember I mean, what you, yeah, I, if they forced you to, to do what dentistry. They basically put like almost kind of told yeah, you I, yeah. pick something. Yeah. I the, mean, I think I wanted to be like a dental hygienist or some shit. And something like that. I didn't, yes. Yeah. And I, and I went to college and like, I think I went for like a semester and I was like, I right, like this, this isn't for me. Like, you know, I mean, me personally, I've never really liked school. So, I mean, I feel like I was, like, pressured into going to school and making a name for yourself and having that title and, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. when I went or whatever, I just, just like, this ain't for me. I mean, and I know people now who, like, make more than that and they don't have a college degree or they just have, like, a high school degree. And, I mean, they're making, like, thirteen, fourteen hundred 1400 a week. So, I feel like a college degree doesn't really necessarily – mean that you'll be making more money i mean i, I mean it's nice to have that uh title under your belt but if you're not gonna do nothing with it so there's no point mm -hmm. in having it yeah and then mm. on top of that like debt and shit fuck that you know that's why i say that like, people who, who can go to college and and do things and actually use a degree to something like you say mo mostly medical i mean especially here in stuff book that's all yeah. a lot of people go for is like nursing type of wise but other than that, you can't go for really like business or criminal justice or shit like that. Because I mean, you you can't do that here unless you're willing to move out into the city or move somewhere else to where there's actual a crime rate, a yeah, a crime rate, um, and things like that. So, I mean, it it just all kind of depends on how you put it to use. I would say. That's that's why I got out of a uh, Scotts Bluff because for uh, I mean the people that are doing real estate there, being realtors, you know maybe they they know what they're doing. I've lived there, lived in Minotaur since I've been born. Yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. Like, if I want to make anything, I'm not gonna make anything out there. Like no, you can't. You like, can't. Here in Lincoln, there's three hundred thousand people. Omaha, Gretna, Elkhorn, like all the neighboring towns. I think right. it's like some people say it's close to a million. I'm thinking maybe like eight hundred thousand. And I'm like, I could make business here, start a, start the business here, and then branch off to other states if I want to. But I'm like, right. if I do that in Scotts Bluff, Minotaur, I'd have, I'd probably not be doing shit there. Like, yeah, you you can't pull that shit off here. And that that's what that's what I'm saying. Like you can't you can't start off here, you know. That's why like I talk to a lot of people who move out of Stutz Club, like uh, either go to Lincoln, especially the Lincoln or Kearney or um sometimes Colorado and they're like, Well there's not shit in Stutz Club. You can't start off in Stutz Club. Like you have to start off somewhere else to like start to knowing um different businesses or your in in your typical career that you choose I would say I mean uh it, it's a it, it's a lot 
because over not just Scott Bluff and the Panhandle, unless you're not going for a medical degree or yeah. anything to do in yeah. construction and anything to do with construction or a medical degree, you're kind of lost. You're you're you're, you're, you're not gonna do good. Like nothing. yeah, and I mean maybe like barber shops and nail salons because I see a lot of those. Yeah. Um, again. <laughs> Again, competition. So I'm not saying they're doing bad, you know. Uh, just competition. Uh, but if you don't want to do that and you want to make any sort of living, other than again making your own little business, uh, medical degree is the biggest one there. Like, obviously, I mean, we know people. We know the people that we graduated with: nursing, uh, yeah, Jackie's yeah. Uh, doing. I think she's a uh, radiologist tech right now, uh, but I think she wants yeah, to. But I think I she's think going for higher. Um, for sure, and I think I think like I think like Jackie. I think that's pretty cool what she's doing. I've always like told you like I've, I've told her like you know congratulations on what you're doing because that's pretty freaking cool. And I think I feel like Sally and Hannah, um, also going into nursing and things like that. But like you say, if you're not going into a medical field, um. Or construction, pretty much. You're you're lost. You you don't have any hope or any kind of balance here. Is what I would call that. I you know. Mm-hmm. Like, you know I guess that. teaching as well. But if you want to be like well off, then mm-hmm. don't yeah, yeah. Like, really don't be doing teaching. I mean, no, um, I I wouldn't probably if I were to become a teacher. I don't think I would probably teach. I'd probably go probably somewhere else. I, and I mean, I can't. But, I mean, it's all, it's all just how you see it. Mm-hmm. And because that just just the panhandle, it everyone knows everyone. So I mean, you can go there, be yeah. gone for a year, come back, and you'll meet the same people. Um, but it's like yeah, that town needs stuff. Like that, that, that town needs yeah. uh, restaurants and stores that. To drive stuff because, uh, like I was telling my girlfriend, I'm like, you know how nice it would be for Scott Bluff, uh, the Walmart, if they bought the land behind them, put a Sam's Club there, Sam's Club gas, and a Sam's Club. You want to know how much oh, business yeah. that would pop off? Because people, oh, so with, again, uh, uh, not only with people with small businesses that need to get a lot of stuff, like a lot of flour, meat, whatever. Um, if, yeah, yeah. If they need to get that, or people that live on the country get by law or whatever, and, and, people, and you know, right. it's like that would help out so fucking much for that area yeah. and the gas, make it cheaper, have competition with Maverick. That would help out oh, so sure. so much. I feel like and, now all they're all they're doing, like I think, like now in front of the Walmart we have now. I mean, I'm hearing it's a. Uh, it's a car wash. Mm-hmm. So I me personally I think like a car wash in front of Walmart it kind of isn't good business. Mm-mm. But I mean I got you agree, like you said, we need we do need a lot more stores, we need a lot more restaurants. Um to call business in and then e- eventually Scott's Bluff starts to expand. Because I mean, a lot of people now here, like you say, Sam's Club, you're buying bulk. You have to go to Cheyenne, or you have to go to Colorado mm-hmm. or out of town to get things like that. Or like for example, uh party type of wise, if you wanna throw a big party or something, you have to go out of town and you have to go out of your way to get certain supplies that I feel like should be already here. Um, mm-hmm. but I mean it it's just kinda depends on the people here as well. If they're not willing yeah. to support, like they say, local businesses. Because, like you also say as well, because we got a lot of like uh, nail techs and, and shop and things like that, which it's competition, but they soon to they start to kind of slowly go down with time, and then business is closed. They don't wanna, they don't get enough support. They don't got enough business. Mm-hmm. So I mean, it just kind of all depends on the business. I I would say. Yeah, and like I told my girlfriend, I'm like, what. What someone needs to do um, is buy the mall, buy Kmart, oh, for sure. combi- combine them together, yeah. re- basically redo everything, add oh, a food yeah. court, add like Chick Fil A, Panda, add restaurants that aren't available until like Cheyenne, wherever. Put a food yeah. court there because not only I mean put restaurants that people never eat, 
but two, the college is right there. So oh, sure. you're you're gonna get all those college students. The high school, Scottsdale High School, is nearby. You're gonna have all the high schoolers come by. The yeah. middle school is also nearby. Uh, oh, yeah. Reconnect is also nearby. Oh, you got yeah. all these people nearby. Add no, rush at that. at a food court. Local businesses right. add something there too, and add stores. I uh, like I told my girlfriend. Uh, change Kmart. If people don't want a Best Buy there, make it a Kohl's, another big chain store restaurant. Yeah, or because, like TJ Maxx, something like yeah. that. I feel like it's what we need. So would you say that it's just the people within this town that don't let businesses expand to that extent? Or do you feel like it's just those businesses not wanting to come down to that lower expectation? You know what I'm saying? I think it's both because uh, – like Sam's Club, uh, it's uh-huh. based on population because uh, when, uh, from Scott's Bluff, and if you go east, the nearest Sam's Club other than Cheyenne, but in Nebraska, as close right. to Scott's Bluff or Minotaur or whatever, is in Grand Island. Yeah. So that's that's like yeah, almost that's five hours that's apart. And because yeah, Grand yeah. Island, the I think it has like ni- 60 some thousand or 90,000. Compared to, I thought, I, thought it, I thought it was like ninety thousand or something. Like I that. think it might be ninety thousand, oh, sure. but compared to like the Panhandle, you combine Scott Bluff, Terrytown, Gearing, Minotaur, yeah. you're probably gonna get forty thousand. So possibly, if most, right. But again, um, same with Best Buy. Um, I think the nearest Best Buy from you guys that's not out of state is Grand Island as well, and so yeah. that's kind of where yeah. it's like. It would be great, but I mean, I think I think a lot of people take it as a travel wise. I mean, who really wants to travel like five hours, you know, or mm-hmm. something like that to to go to Sam's Club? I mean, I personally like I agree with you. People, uh, especially here in Scotts Bluff, where people a lot of people live in the country and they like to buy in bulk and um, kind of save up and stock up for. Mostly like like the winter or they like to stock up for the week or whatever the case may be. I feel mm-hmm. like Sam's Club would be a, a really good benefit to that and bring a lot more business and bring a lot more people. I mean, I was like telling my girlfriend, um, we were at the mall today and they were doing like a Halloween type of deal. And I told her, like, this is the most people I've seen in the mall in like forever. Other than mm-hmm. that, the mall's pretty lonely. The stores are lonely. I'm surprised the stores that are in the mall are still going, are still uh, have business. And uh, I, I mean, I just don't see why they don't just shut the whole thing down um, mm-hmm. and start new, start with fresh ideas. Like you said, food court, new stores that you don't hear around here. I feel like that's something that we should kind of start thinking about. But a lot of people don't want to waste their tax money on things like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, Cause... they don't want to... Yeah. Yeah, they don't want to waste their tax money on, on like streets and like fixing the streets and things. Just certain like little things like that that will start making the community better. I mm-hmm. feel like they don't want to do that. I feel like they just see like the bigger picture. Uh, I think they're like they're building like an aquarium, from what I've heard. Um, behind like you know you know where Wedge's at. Um, going on to Broadway and then like on Twenty Seventh around there, that like furniture store or whatever. I think I might know what you're talking about. Yeah, I think like they were talking about like building an aquarium, if I remember right, an aquarium like behind there. And I mean, me personally, I'm like that's cool and all, but we don't need a fucking aquarium. I feel like we need to fix our streets. We need we need better stores. We need better quality. We need because I mean they're starting to build gas stations. We have a freaking gas station. They're building a gas station right in front of fucking KFC. Mm-hmm. Like, I saw that. So I'm like, why do we need another gas station right there when we have, like, the watering hole kind of, like, not even a mile away, you know? So I feel like just having all these little gas stations everywhere doesn't really help either. I mean, I, and that's that, that's what I've been thinking of with the whole mall thing. And then also uh, where the old Albertsons used to be, where, like, Verizon and Culver's yeah. and whatnot. I'm like, right. again... Someone needs to buy that off. And here they have like a yeah. super saver. They have a high V. 
maybe they could add a high V, maybe a super saver. Because uh, yeah, high V sure. would be competition the safe way. So oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. But the, I thought you got another store uh, connected with like Yoshi's and Papa Murphy's. You got those little small ones. So then yeah, that area fi- finally starts getting business. As right. value to, uh, to again, Scott Bluff. Like, I'm glad I'm out. I mean, I don't miss the town. I don't miss anything of that at all. Yeah. But, uh, again, if I can add, uh, with real estate, if I can add value, if I can get value out of that, mm-hmm. not only am I making, a one, if if I'm able, once I'm able to do it, if I can not only make some bank off of that, but then add value to, you know, to people that live there, I mean, it's a, it's a right. win-win for everyone. Oh, uh, for but sure. at the same time, I mean, a lot of the people in that town are old, too, are older people. And, oh, yeah. For sure. uh, some... Don't really want to add anything new. Um, I I feel like they're they're content with with what they have. They have yep. gas and they have Walmart, and I feel like that's kind of that's like they're content. And I feel like the mm-hmm. newer generation they don't care they don't care either because then they have out of town to go to. They have uh, different states to go to to get kind mm-hmm. of different things. And I feel like for them it's more like oh road trip, let's go here. Instead of having all locally, so I feel like it. I feel like it's a blame on the older generation, and then as well as the younger generation, because the younger generation doesn't really want to vote. They don't really care to vote. So it's like oh, it doesn't interest me. It's not my mm-hmm. thing. I don't care. I'll worry. Let's worry about what the older generation wants, and then they're mm-hmm. content with how things are going. They're they're comfortable with the way things are running in town, so they don't want to change anything as well. So I feel like that's a, kind of a reason why sex stuff doesn't, me personally, I, like sex stuff doesn't really improve on a lot of things. Mm-mm. Like even when I go visit, uh, when what I think it was last, no, maybe two weeks ago, uh, I visited, and I'm like, it, everything feels the same. There's nothing new here. It's boring. Nothing's changed. Yeah, for sure. I'm like, this, I'm like it's boring here. And I mean, granted, here, I mean, we have four WalMarts. We have two Sam's Club. We got everything. We got the UNL. We 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 got a lot of stuff here. And then you have Omaha. Now Omaha yeah. has, has a bunch of other shit. So it's different when I can wake yeah. up. Oh, I want Wendy's. I can go to Wendy's. I want Chipotle. I can go to Chipotle. Oh my God, I, you're I, I can just. Do... I've been wanting Wendy's here. <laughs> like, like I can just wake up and go or DoorDash shit. I can get it DoorDash to my fucking apartment and be good. Over there. You can't you do have, shit. You don't have that shit. You have it, you have McDonald's, you have Burger King, you have DQ and Sonic. I feel like that's like that that those are your choices, I feel like. So you don't have like a Wendy's, you don't have a Jack in the Box, you don't have things like that. So you have options, or like you say, you have different types of Walmarts, you have two different um Sam's clubs. So I feel like they don't we don't have that option. You know, so it's the same routine, mm-hmm. same type of thing. And a lot of people get tired of going to Walmart, so they go to Safeway or they go to Co-op, and they get tired of going there and they go. To, so it's like a back and forth game. So I feel like mm-hmm. they, it's it's just the same routine. I feel like. Mm-hmm. And because how you said, I mean, people get tired because having four different WalMarts here, you might go to one and be like, oh, uh, everything they have, everything I want, they don't have here. So let me head to right. the other Walmart, and they finally have it. You know, you 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 yeah, that other Walmart uh, has it. same with you. There's three targets. There's the super target. Then there's the two smaller ones. So then, oh, if you just want to go to your to your smaller target, you can. But if you want to get groceries, like it's weird to hear groceries and Target. Uh, you target, can go to the big yeah. Target. You get no. like groceries and I'm, like I'm not gonna lie. Like when I went to Omaha for a trip. I went to a fucking super target. Like, I mean, I've heard of super targets and shit like that, but I was like, they bullshitting, you know? So I went to a super target and I was like, they got groceries here? Like, they got food and shit? I was like, what the fuck? Like, you don't hear that shit back home. So you get home and I'm like, I was just like, oh shit, like, we need a super target, you know? Because sometimes you go to Walmart and the groceries are like, like, for example, like fruits and vegetables and shit, it, they're not always the best. The mm-hmm. packaging sometimes mm-hmm. they know isn't always the best. So, I mean, and you know Walmart. Walmart can be a little weird. You got some weird people in there, but trust me, I worked there. <laughs> yeah, I I worked yeah. outside. I know how Walmart is. Yeah, so like I feel like having a supercharger. I think that'd be pretty freaking cool. I think that'd be 
to bring I wanna say a lot of business, but I'm I'm sure like if they were to bring that, they would bring a lot of business into that. And just like getting a lot of a uh, smaller store, I mean, that'd be a perfect one for uh, like having a TJ Maxx or like a Ross because oh every yes. Mexican mother in a 30 mile radius <laughs> is gonna want that. Because when I, when my mom visited here a while back, where did we go first? Go Ross because yeah. we have a Ross, <laughs> TJ Maxx, and a Marshalls. We have all three here, all oh sister God, uh, yeah. companies. So my mom. Said, let's head to Ross instead of going to Cheyenne. We have it here, so it's like, hey, let's head to Ross, and every Mexican mom would be would be happy. Let's just say that. No, for sure, because I mean, I go to Cheyenne with my mom, and it's like she wants to go to Ross right away. She she didn't care about the mall. She don't care about the mall. She wants to go to Ross, and I'm like, let's go to TJ Maxx. So we went, and she's like, we need this back home. I'm like, I agree. So. I mean, just bringing little stores like that would bring a lot of business. I mean, we know we have, like, a Goodwill in, but it's not the same, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, so, I mean, even when you go to, um, <clears throat> like, Denver and whatnot, Loveland, whatever, when you go to their malls and you see yeah. – I mean, I don't know if Cheyenne still has them, but, like, uh, like a lot of the shoe stores, like Foot Locker um, – Camp oh, Sports. Yeah, I mean, there's like Spencer's. Like uh, there's a bunch of like other stores in the mall that, again, you guys don't have here. We hell, we still have a JC Penny in this mall. We still have our JC Penny, and we have oh, our yeah. Dillard's. And we like, yeah. And, and I guess uh, speaking about like obviously stores that you guys don't have anymore. Uh, is it true that you guys don't have Taco Bell uh, back home anymore? Dude, no, we Taco? don't. No. I, 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 don't, I, I don't think know. they I, said it's been closed. Yeah, I mean, for the longest time, they were closed for, for, like, the longest time. And, I mean, I've heard, like, rumors left and right saying, like, they can't get management or that they were remodeling. And then they opened up for, like, a month maybe, and then they closed back down. So, I mean, I don't know if they went out, like, out of business or they don't have management, they don't have words. I mean, I don't I don't know what the case may be, but we, we don't have a Taco Bell anymore. So, I mean, I, I don't really care. I never ate at Taco Bell, but... I mean, we don't, but and it just sucks when stores start to close, to slowly close. I mean, even and, at the mall. I mean, we had yeah. like a Route 21, and they closed. So I, it, it wasn't even there for long either. No, it wasn't. So it's like, how can they slowly start to close, you know? Mm-hmm. And, and what makes it sad is how it was It was close to the uh, college, too. So Yeah, I it mean, was. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's It's... I, I mean, I'm glad I'm out of that town. I mean, I'm not – even though living in Lincoln, uh, yeah. I'll prob- I'm not going to be living here my entire life. Uh, right. I might be heading to uh, Colorado uh, once I'm doing everything that I want to, uh, right. move over right. to Colorado because, um, I mean, it's co- Colorado is beautiful. I mean, I, so I'll say – what, what part of Colorado do you want to go to? Oh uh, well, my girlfriend she wants more Colorado Springs, but I don't okay, because okay. it's it's a little bit dirty. I mean, it's yeah higher crime rate. It lo- when we went there, it was a little bit dirty, but I want more uh closer. I guess you can say kind of close to the mountains, but not so close. Like maybe Boulder, kind of like in the Boulder, western right? part of yeah. Denver ish, kind of like in that area. But get a nice view of not only the mountains but then uh the city. So then, the city of, uh, so in between, kind of. Yeah, like, yeah, not not right. so in the city, but not so far out of the city where I can right. I I have the scenery. I got the nice scenery of yeah. the trees, the mountains. Right. But then I but then I can still see the the city. I'm like, you know, I like this area. I like the house I'm in, and right. so like, right. you know, and uh, especially speaking about houses. I mean, the house that I want, granted. It'll cost a lot of money. I mean, yeah, and, right. I mean, and all the shit but that I, I want. Like, I, but I feel like it, nowadays, what doesn't cost a lot? You know what I'm saying? Like, even shit, gas here was like fucking seven, eight dollars. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh my god, I hated that. It was fucking expensive. I was like, the fuck? My like, Nissan Altima, uh, usually, uh, was like. 50, 60 bucks to fill up. It was eight, I think it was like 70 to 80 bucks when it was at its all time high. I'm like, holy fucking hell. Hell That's... yeah, dude. I mean, even with the fucking truck I had, 
regular. I was like, okay, 60 bucks at most to fill it up. And then fucking that whole shit, like, inflation went up. And I was like, it was like fucking 100 and some to fill up. I was like, nope. I was like, we're going to go little by little. I'm not filling this bitch all the way up until shit goes, goes down, you know, because it's fucking expensive. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I know this is, I'll, I'll ask you a controversial question. Um, are you are you happy that Biden's in office, seeing everything you that's know, going on? You know, me personally, I don't. I would prefer Trump back in office, only because of how expensive things have fucking gone. I feel like that's just fucking ridiculous. Like no, I'm, I, me personally, like I'm waiting for like the like everything to just crash, like the housing and shit like that. I'm waiting for it to crash because I'm. I mean, I want to look at house, but you can't right now because everything's just so fucking expensive. I don't. I personally don't want Biden in the office anymore. I prefer Trump. I mean, no matter like the racial shit he said, you, you know he says a lot of stupid shit, but I'm. I'll give it to him. He. I mean, he he has some pretty good remarks on on. A little bit, not smart. a lot, but he, he knew how he knew how to control the economy. He was a smart motherfucker. Yeah, I'll, I'll give him that. I mean, he wasn't a pretty good fucking president, but businessman was. I mean, that motherfucker, he had his shit straight. So I'll give him that. Yeah, because I I, I I asked you because I remember in high school everyone bl- blasting like <laughs> fuck Donald Trump, all oh, that shit, that, to, especially to Ellis. Oh, yeah. El- oh, Ellis. <laughs> Ellis lives what in Thailand or some shit like that? Was yeah, he like moved in the life? country. Yeah, he I, got I, I'm like, what the fuck? Or Hong Kong, some shit like that. But yeah, I, he, he moved out of the country, and I was like, all right, do you? Yeah. Fuck <laughs> <Clark, laughs> and he'd get, he'd get so mad. He would get so mad, and I was just like, damn. I was like, I didn't that's know why, so serious. <laughs> that's why I asked you, because like, I remember you were one of them, too. You were one of the ones that fucking blasted that. Dude, and I would, I would go off on it. I was like, yeah, can, Trump, I'm yep. gonna pop on. I mean, like, being in high school, I didn't understand all this shit now. Like, I didn't understand. Like, I knew about inflation and how expensive things got, but never, like, I never thought, I guess, that Someday it would happen and I would have to live it. Like, I, I don't know why. I just never thought about it until it actually hit. Gas went up. The grocery shopping went up. Like, everything just went up. And I was like, damn. I was like, I was like, Ellis was right. And like, now, like, I look back and I was like, oh shit, like, I fucked up. Like, I was wrong, you know? So, yeah, it, I mean, Ellis, if you're watching this, my apologies. <laughs> I mean, fuck it. I mean, because um, again, I mean, now that I'm listening to podcasts, uh, I don't know if you know uh, these group, uh, the Nelk Boys. Have you heard of the Nelk Boys? No, I haven't. Oh well, oh well. Um, on their podcast, they had Trump, and I, and the funny thing is, um, how YouTube is so democratic. That video got yeah. removed by YouTube, and but it didn't get removed by uh, Apple or uh, Spotify. So I listened, and when you listen to Trump, you're like, I listened to my. I should have voted for him, motherfucker. He, <laughs> yeah. he was he was smart. Like before all this was going on, well, as it was starting, you heard, yeah. when you can hear him speak, you're like, holy shit! This yeah. this dude knew what was happening. This dude oh, knew what was gonna happen because he was that smart. Yeah, like I mean, I see videos now, like on Facebook. You know, like like the videos that pop up on Facebook, or like especially I mean, the big thing now is like TikTok, where they mm-hmm. bring things from the past up and things like that. I mean, and I watch his videos, and I like you say, like you hear him speak, and you're like, oh shit, like you got a fuck about, like you can't hate the man, like you can hate him to a certain extent where it's like, all right, like racial wise, let's take let's take that out of the picture, let's like take things out of the picture and let's focus on like the bigger picture, which is the economy, which is so called what he would call make America great again, um. Well, you start when well, he starts to bring kind of value back into place. Um, I feel like I was just like, oh shit, like he's got a point. Like, I mean, mm-hmm. I can't hate the man for it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, well, I mean, I, I, I would get that. I, I, when I read everything, I'm like, I heard, oh my god, <laughs> my yeah. And again, I saw a graph, um, it was like a couple months ago, 
of the whole like how much people uh might vote for uh Biden uh, this next election. Right. The rate, uh, I don't know if it was like 60 or 70 some percent from when it first happened. And I think it dropped down to like 30, 20 percent. Like no one oh, wants him. Fuck. No one wants him in the office yeah, anymore. dude, nobody. I mean, he, I don't know. I feel like, like he just kind of got us in a, in a hole, I feel like. I, I guess we, we, tr- we, we expected like a more because really the only reason yeah. like I told my girlfriend the only reason why I voted for Biden is because I got so annoyed when people just kept throwing Trump this Trump that Trump twenty oh, yeah, Trump twenty twenty yeah, yeah, yeah. like I kept getting yeah. so much that it's not that maybe Trump again now that I'm noticing uh, being the smart man that he is it was just I was getting just annoyed on how much people would just throw it in my face I'm yeah. like I don't want yeah. that now. And like, you, you got like I would say like you got you got your anger the best of you, you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. um like I mean I, I always like heard like uh people would always say Trump's gonna make America suppose what's called the great again. And in my mm-hmm. head I was always like, Well America was never great the, you know, to begin with. Like we had the whole slavery, we have this whole uh black life, white lives matter. And I mean that's a big controversy um within some people. So that's where I was like, Well, he's making these racial comments he's making these um he's gonna divide us again so i was like no like i'm not gonna vote for him like i'm not gonna do nothing to you know so i like you said i mean i was more towards fighting like you said i was i was tired of hearing the, the shit over mm-hmm. and over and over again and you i mean you drive even and you see fucking bumper stickers or stickers on the fucking vehicles and trump 2020 or some bullshit you know so mm-hmm. i mean you know so you see all these type of things and you get tired of it to a certain extent uh, and speaking about the whole Black Lives Matter, uh, were you a f- fan of the Black Lives Matter? Or well, I guess let me ask it this way. Were you a fan of the movement of Black Lives Matter? Or were you a fan of just like, I I, I don't know how to put it the, like, the second way. I mean, I, no, I guess let me just start with that one. Uh, did you support the yeah. movement of Black Lives Matter? For sure. I did because, yeah. like I said, Trump started off the controversy with, first of all, he started off with fucking build a wall. Mm-hmm. Me personally, okay, that's cool. You want to build a wall within uh, America and, and Mexico, I mean, the United States and Mexico, then build a wall between the United States and Canada. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I mean, I understand. Yeah, illegals come in and out and things like that. But you have to understand this world that we're not only the the bad ones, you know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. I feel like the whole black life thing, I feel like, yeah, it was nice that people voiced their opinions. Um, but the way that we came off at things with rioting and destroying things and things like, I feel like we didn't have to go to that extent. We mm-hmm. didn't have to destroy property. We didn't have to uh, explode fucking buildings and things like that. Um but I'm like, but at the at the end of the day, I'm glad that we took that stand because mm-hmm. I guess they the government and you know especially when Trump was in office, they tried to shut that down and they tried to kind of push us aside. When I feel like there was no controversy until mm-hmm. Trump started, you know, talking shit. So that's where I feel like there was that kind of loophole. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because uh, I know with uh. The whole Black Lives Matter movement, and whatnot. Did you ever donate to Black to like the Black Lives Matter? Uh, I guess it was the movement. Mm-hmm. Um, you no, did donate I, I or never, no? No, no, oh. I never did donate. I just see. I, I was the type to. I'm. I still am the type to. Like I'm. How would I say I'm a part of it because I'm not waving the flag around and, and mm-hmm. writing it on my vehicle and, and posting it on social media that Black Lives Matter and this and that. I mean, I'm I'm not the type to really kind of put those, those things out there. I mean, yeah, I'm going to agree with it, but I'm not going to be all out about it. Does that make mm-hmm. sense? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah I understandable. Um, because I know, um, again, with the whole Black Lives Matter movement, uh, when like the people that started, I guess the the movement i guess you can say right. where you could donate 
they stole all that money that people donated because they bought it. They were all over uh, the news. The people, the the people that started it, uh, mm. bought themselves like a I think it was like a three or four million dollar mansion in California oh, with that with that money that got donated. And so then I, I look back, I looked back, and I I never donated, and because my question was, if I donate, who, who does this truly go to? Because yeah, yeah. you're supporting the movement, not a business, okay. not, not like, like the gay rights. Like, oh, like donate yeah, for, like for sure. the gay rights. Like, who am I supporting? Yeah, no. What what does this money no. go to? Yeah, who, no, who does this money go to? No, and, and I agree on that because I mean, I mean, that's the same thing where it's like suspicious, but you don't know. Like you're curious. You're just like, like you say, who does the money go to? Is it really helping out? The movement, um, like the whole gay rights thing, is it going to that especially or not? Like, you just don't know. Like, I mean, nowadays you can't trust that. No, people are so, like, money. money hungry. Everything's, everybody's money hungry. So, especially businesses. I mean, they don't give a fuck about what the fuck you think about. They don't give a fuck uh, what your religious thought, what their religious is or whatever. They don't care about um, your pride and, and, and your joy, your happiness. They don't care. They don't give a fuck about that. As long as you bring uh, a certain amount of money into the business, that's all they care about. And I feel mm-hmm. like that's where that controversy also kicks into. Yeah, cause I was just confused. I'm like, who donating this money? Who does it go to? And obviously, turns out people just pocketed it. And the, and the fucked up thing, they can't get charged for it because as it, as it being a donation, I, I mean, yeah. maybe, I don't know if it'd be fraud. I don't know. I feel like it would be. But Me I never. I but I never saw anything else of them getting charged or anything. Right. Um, beca- yeah. Because no, I, said, I don't know. I, said, um, I I personally feel like it, they should. But how the world works, you know, they they probably won't. They they'll, they'll get away with it, just like how everybody else does, and they just move on with yeah. their lives. And what like, what can you do about it? You know. Yeah, true. I mean, we can only see it. We can only see what we see on the news. We we can only do so much. Like I always tell my girlfriend, we can only yeah. do so much. Yeah, and, you can only do your part, and that's it. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. Um, did you, have you ever have you been in contact with any of the people that we've graduated with? Uh, ever like, even when we graduated until now. Um. Not in necessarily contact, but I wish I was like on a daily basis. Uh, I went, I did go to Haley's wedding. Um, I never got involved. <laughs> she blocked, I don't know if she blocked me, but on Facebook, uh, she unfriended me. I don't use oh, Snapchat shit. anymore, I only use it for the podcast, but I personally I don't use Snapchat anymore. But when right. I did, she unfriended me. Uh, Instagram, oh, she unfollowed <laughs> me, and I was confused. I'm like, what the hell did I do? And yeah. she went weird. ghost. I I never got I never got texted from her. Nothing what? like just not a. I never got invited to the wedding. Nothing like legit. Nothing. I was I was really thinking you to be there because I mean I have I mean I still have everybody on on everybody that I graduated with. I still have them on social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram. Um, and if the people who have Twitter, that's fine and all. Um, when I I did go to Haley's wedding and I wasn't able to catch up like with Hannah and Shelly because I haven't seen them in a long time, and I caught up with Haley a little bit. Um, I did. I don't know if I saw Rihanna there. I think maybe, I could be wrong. I, I can't remember. I think so. I think, I think. Uh, yeah, Ariana was there. I think, and then Taisha. Uh, I didn't really talk to her. Um, Caleb was there as well, and then obviously like Shelly's boyfriend. So. I mean, and then my girlfriend was there. So, I mean, we, we all kind of sat at the same table and we was just kind of all talking and things like that. Um, now, I don't I don't really, like, hang out with any of them, really. I mean, I, at most, maybe, like, Hannah and Sally, that's if, like, we go to, like, the same after party or we go to the same party or something like that. But mm-hmm. I think mostly, like, Sally more than Hannah. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, and I, I'm cool with either or, you know. I'm just not going to be with them. But other than that, I don't really... I mean, I was so surprised, like, you reached out to me, and I was like, what? I was like, I have, like, I haven't spoke to Marco in years. I was like, ain't no way you want to fucking speak to me about, put put me on his podcast. That's why I was like, I was sure. I was like, okay. 
I just, I was like, you know, because I got it with Adam. Because here's the thing. Again, I mean, I don't talk to anyone. Legit, no one back right. home. I don't talk to anyone. I mean, obviously, didn't get invited to the wedding. Uh, same right. with uh, uh, Lydia's. Didn't get invited to that one. Um, uh, I didn't, hey, I didn't get invited to Lydia's wedding either, so it makes two of us. I'm just assuming family <laughs> drama. I'm just say family hey, drama. Hey, we, we, I get, I, we can leave it at that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it, it happens in every Mexican household. I There's mean, always something. Hey, in family, there, there's always some bullshit. You don't know what's going on, but yeah, it, it, exactly. It is what it is. Yeah, and but I, I know, like uh, the first person I tried getting uh, on there was uh, Yesenia. Remember her? Oh yeah, no, I tried actually, getting her. I, yeah, she left me on red. <laughs> I was like, this bitch. I got left on red by her. I went to I went to Gilbert's wedding. And that was the first time I've seen her in, in like years. So, um, yeah, she was there, and I, and I was talking to Juan. And, and when I graduated, um, I lost contact because I used to be really close with like Rochelle and Juan. And so I mm-hmm. lost contact out of all of that. So when then they graduated, we just really lost contact. And I was the type to like really message like Juan every day because I got the chance to like my best friend. So and we slowly started like kind of like not really talking, but I mean I understand like life gets busy and things like that. So mm-hmm. Gilbert's wedding is when I I saw Luana for the longest time, and we caught up. And then yes, she was there. I didn't really like talk to her, but it was like a quick, "Hey, how are you?" And that was it. But I mean, it it's different how like once you graduate high school, you don't realize how like grown you be start to become, and you start mm-hmm. to become that person that you want to be but you don't know who to be so you kind of lose contact with everybody and it, 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 busy. it kicks you in the face like oh i, I always see a, oh, a yeah. lot everywhere I, I see a lot everywhere where it's like uh so many people don't realize that you peak in high school because when you yeah. leave you, i mean again i mean everyone knows the whole thing what happened with Ephraim. Ephraim peaked oh, in high school God. big time yeah. Hello. Look how like the big football star. I mean, look at the drama that happened. Lie. I ain't gonna lie. I thought he was gonna go to college and be like a good college football player. I was like, supporting him. I, I'm like, I, I, I yeah, that's how I was. I was like, okay, like he's gonna he's gonna be a good ass college player. Like he, like he's gonna make a name for himself. And the whole shit happened, and it just took like a fucking three sixty. And I was like, oh shit. I was like, okay. So you don't see like a lot of things like that. And I was I was shook. I was like, damn. Yeah, because I guess what I heard, it was going kind of good in college over at Shadron until because you know the problem in that he had again not trying to like talk shit just respectfully. Right. The problem he had was for how good he was. Uh, yeah, JJ handed him everything. He was already on varsity. Everything was handed to him. So when he had the sh- when he and he had uh, when it came to like strength or whatever, because Caleb he had his attributes, he had his skills. Ephraim yeah, had his yeah. skills. Isaac, yeah. everyone had their own skills. For sure. um, but going to Shadron, where there's not only people from maybe Nebraska, but people mm-hmm. all over the U.S. coming to Shadron, so now he has true competition, and exactly. so. Especially when the coach, especially when the coaches, if he wants to be, um, I don't know, running back, but the coaches say, "Well, no, we want you the linebacker," and there's arguments that happen. Right, right. Good luck, and I guess that's what I heard. Um, they put him in a position he did not want to be in. And it just he, like threw a fit. It didn't go well. Yeah, and then that's, he. That, I, that's what I heard too. So he left, and then I think he went to like Peru. No. Peru State? Oh, I don't know. There, it's some college. Uh, I think it's like in Peru, Nebraska. It's a smaller college. Um, he was there for like two weeks and then went back to Scott's Bluff. It was quiet until the whole bomb dropped. And yeah, the the problem yeah, was. <laughs> oh, you can go. Oh no, I was I was gonna say like the whole like thing of him, uh, not being a football star when he went. To become like a freshman, you know, football player. That that's where like 
that's the way I, I took it as where he, like you said, he took a position that he didn't like or some bullshit. I mean, like you said, respect me as well, not talking shit or something like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's cool that he was able to at least be introduced into that level of college, you know, football and things like that. Mm-hmm. But like you said, he was also handled a lot of things when he was in high school. He was He was praised for a lot of things that he had no competition in high school. I mean, he had, mm-hmm. you know, the basic type of high schoolers, the ones that just joined uh, football just for the fuck of it. And he took it so serious that that's why I guess he got praised for so much mm-hmm. in so little time. So I believe everyone in the football on the football team, the one who took it the most serious was Ephraim because he was carrying his family's yeah. name. He was carrying the Lovato name. Oh, for sure. And yeah. so obviously... Um, you know, he wants to carry it, and yeah, it, it dropped. And I mean, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I feel like a, the the pressure was on him. The mm-hmm, pressure was and... definitely on him. I mean, he had to have good grades. He he had to be the star player. And I mean, I don't blame him. I mean, his skills were good. He 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 did what he had to do on the field. I'll give him that. Mm-hmm. On or off the field, he was he was good at uh, uh, being a student. He was always smart. He always did his homework and shit. But I just never thought that he would end up the way he is now. Yeah, you um, know, because I mean, he wasn't a bad kid in high school. That like no, looking back wasn't. when when I saw everything when I when I saw and heard everything happen, I was mm-hmm. in a way I was kind of shocked. I'm like, I, 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 I wasn't like super super close. But I'm like, I knew him to the yeah. point where I'm like, I, I, you don't, I, see I, I don't, I, I don't see him like that. Yeah, but. Man. I in uh and in the other side I'm like how creepy him, Ivan and Isaac were. In a way I could see it. Oh, I'm like yeah. in a way I in a way I saw it and for sure. there, and there's I'm, always there's always like that what if type of thing that sits in the back of your head where you're like, What if that would have happened or they're like that or you know, just certain little things where I think about that and I, like now that the whole like you said, the whole bomb dropped and things like that. I look back in high school and I'm like, oh shit, like that makes sense and things like that. Yeah, no. and like I look back in high school and it's like uh, people I hung out with, um, the the things that I did, the things I tried to be doesn't matter when you graduate. People hell pushed it on hell us. Hell people hell. pushed it on us uh, on how much it'll matter. Getting out of there, you're like, holy shit, none of this none shit of matters. matters. None no. of this shit matters because hell. life. You grow up, life kicks you in the face, and you're like, "Holy shit!" You have to grow like, the fuck up. You ain't got. Yeah, no like you got to learn the hard way. And and again, it's surprising when um, Evie having two fucking kids, but no, two kids. I don't know if they're the same baby daddy, but I know she's got two kids. I I, I haven't heard from her in, in like the longest time. Yeah, I like, I, I, I know she had two kids. I know she had one, well, but I know she had two. Well, she has one, and she's gonna have another. Um. Haley obviously is married. This motherfucker, look at his ass. A... <laughs> hey, obviously Haley got married, and it's and it's weird because it's like, holy shit, I'm 21 and people getting married. Like, holy hell! Oh my it... god, I was just talking about that with my girlfriend. I was like, because I, I, dude, Haley, I think Haley just posted today too that she just got a house, and I'm like, that's like that's good for her, but I'm like. How the hell y'all getting married this like this early? I feel like it's early, like so early to even think about that. I mean, mm-hmm. yeah, maybe getting a house or some shit, but like, and mar- marriage is like a type of long type of deal. Like that, that's like committed to shit. And I, I don't fuck around with the whole like divorce type of thing. So I feel like if marriage is is on the line, it that's what that is. You know what I'm saying? Because the number yeah. one, because what I uh, what I hear. And seen uh, one of the number one uh, problems that happen in marriage is financially, and especially oh, being yeah. th- being this young. Obviously, if they've already gotten a house, I'm not saying they don't know what they're doing. Maybe they're making great money. Um, yeah, 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 for sure. But uh, when I read the book, The Rich Dad Poor Dad, what was the life the poor dad wanted? Go to college, mm-hmm. do this, get a house, basically yeah. do what life. Do this, and it's like at twenty one, like getting a house. 
paying the mortgage, paying yeah. the insurance, probably paying the property taxes, paying a bunch of things. It's like you're you're yeah. gonna work to pay that to call. The, you're gonna work to pay that house off, and sure. and, and, I, and I it's like, like I feel like personally like nowadays, uh, especially like a lot of like twenty early twenty people uh, year olds and stuff like that. People don't understand that there's different things that come into play like you say there's uh house taxes there's property taxes there's the insurance on top of that plus on top of that all the other bills that come with it plus your vehicle's expenses um and then you what you have on like what they call it is the fun money the fun money where you're able to go out you're able to do this you're able to do that mm-hmm. um i personally feel like at the age of 21 i feel like unless like you have a really good fucking job and i mean and the people that are able to do it that's cool and all but i don't i don't want to be in a situation where it's like you're struggling you're like paycheck to paycheck type of deal where you're uh wondering where the fucking rent money is going to come from for like the house payment or mm-hmm. um, whatever what, I mean, whatever the case may be you don't want to have to worry about things like that i feel like you're going to get a house where you're stable you have a stable job you have um stability in in that household that's feel like what what i feel like i guess Mm-hmm. And I never knew about the whole house thing. I'm like, it's moving too fast. The whole marriage again, like with the whole uh, Lydia yeah. thing again. Not talking shit or anything. It's just I'm seeing yeah. these people I'm like getting married already. Like, and it's like I feel like I feel like nowadays it's not a. I I mean I'm not talking shit on Haley and 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 uh, Graham. Right, that's his name. Yeah, Graham. Graham. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not hating on them because, like, they've been, like, high school, like, sweethearts. Like, they, yep. they've had their issues. They've had their controversies or whatever. But I'm not talking shit on them because, like, I know, like, they're, what they have is, is going good. It, it's, it's best for them. Like, they're happy. And that's cool and all. But at the same time, it's like you have to take a step back and kind of reevaluate what, what's going on. You, you, know? you got to take like, a step back like, and slow down. For sure, and I and I always like ask my girlfriend and things like that because I know I'm like we've been wanting a house, we've been looking into things like that. But I, I always ask her like, what's the rush? You know, what's what's the rush into mm-hmm. getting into more debt? What's the rush into into paying more freaking bills and and things like that? So I feel like everybody nowadays they see like especially like on TikTok now, like everybody wants to see that happy household, everybody wants that happy marriage, everybody wants that happy family. And I mean, yeah, for some people it's doable, but you have to be realistic and look into what you have within yourself and be like, okay, mm-hmm. like we don't have that. Let's work on this before we move into something bigger. So I feel mm-hmm. like everybody sees everybody else getting married and now they want to get married too. Everybody sees that some, this person had a kid, now they want to have a kid too. And it, the world doesn't really work like that. It's like, take it at your own pace, do what you have to do, handle what you have to do, and then do, you know, move on with your life and move forward. But respectfully, yeah, I mean, more than anything. Yeah, I mean, 100%. Um, because again, it's one of those things where it's like take a step back and slow down, take a step back, reevaluate, and slow down. Uh, because your 20s and 30, your from your 20 to 30 in that 10 year mark, that 10 years is basically knowing what you want to do, knowing finding yeah. yourself, finding yeah. who you are. Because right. if you try to move move on with life this fucking fast, ten years from now, again, a divorce may happen, and you're gonna get bored. I I feel like you're just gonna get bored. Because when know. you move on with life so fast, um, and that's why I, with me, um, I started getting a little bit bored with games because it, again, it's it's because I'm trying to beat it so fast and I'm not enjoying it. And that's right. again what a, some of those people are doing is they're moving so fast of uh, getting married, having a kid, and already starting the just like the basic family household. It's like for sure, for sure. It's, it's, it's like slow down, step back. It, I mean, it it, it, it takes a process. It, it's a process in in doing things and doing things right, especially if you want a happy household. If you want a perfect, I mean, there's no such thing as perfect, right? But if you want the so called perfect life the the nice home and the nice vehicles i feel like that everything like that just takes uh time and you have to be mm-hmm. patient you can't rush it what it's what it's meant to be it's going to be and if it's not then um i've always said i mean god has a different plan for you you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so i clearly i wanted to go to college 
it just didn't happen that way. I didn't find it interesting. I found a different job. I mean, now I mean now like I'm working for the city, and never, never, ne- never did I ever think that I would be working for the city. You know, so that was yeah. literally out of the fucking mind. So now, here I am, um, slowly trying to get a, you just get a hold of fucking life because, like you said, like now time just moves too fucking fast. You kind of just take a time and. and just really appreciate what you have in front of you before you just try, try to see through things. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And because again, that's where a lot of that's where the financial education comes in. Because it's like you may think right now you can do it because of your stable oh job, uh, yeah. but like you, like you may think now, like oh, like we had X amount of money saved, this and this, like nope, perfect. Nope. Like maybe you just had enough for the down payment of the house. Or whatever, yeah. or maybe yeah. just just the down payment for the house, and maybe uh, the first payment of the mortgage. <laughs> now, the time yeah. comes of you have that, and it's a thing called um, uh, lifestyle inflation, meaning you get paid more, so you spend more. And yeah, for sure. So, like maybe there, maybe let's say she's getting paid. 20 an hour and Graham is getting paid like 22 an hour. So they're making some pretty good stable income for the two. And right. again, that's where the lifestyle inflation comes in because you know, they may be steady on their, on their, uh, on their mortgage payments. They can always refinance whenever they want, yada, yada, yada. But let's say again, now, now someone finances to get a car. Now they got another payment on top of that. So now it's like they're, let's say, they're still doing somewhat fine with their with that twenty dollar an hour job, but maybe they're thinking of getting a second job just to just to maintain that lifestyle. Now they're just oh, yeah. now they're just screwing so, like, themselves me, over. Yeah, like me personally, like what I had gone, I just got. I mean, it's been what a year, year and a half, I think, that I just got a truck, and I was like, cool. I was like, I got it. I was like, I'll be able to do it. Whatever. Blah blah blah. And I started, you know, trying to make payments on the fucking truck. And I was just like, okay. I was like, now, now I have to get, like, a second job now to not necessarily pull through ahead. But it was more like just to have that extra amount of money. Because with the truck payment and things like that, those things just weren't adding up. So, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Oh, it's just... Again, it's just that lifestyle inflation. It's when I see it from people, and it's kind of scary. Um, mm-hmm. And that's when, and and that's reading uh, that book and stepping my toes in uh, in the real estate industry, and also like doing the podcast. If I can make passive income, uh, that's mm-hmm. I mean that's what a lot of it can yeah. do. If I can make if I can make passive income to fund what I want to do. Oh, what the hell happened? I think her phone turned off, guys. I think her phone (laughs) shut off. Uh, Ain't this fun? Oh, I I think her phone turned off. <laughs> so, how's everyone doing today? Good. I'm gonna get some more water. Um. Maybe let's see if she'll answer, and then let's see if I can um, get her back. Um, if not, then this may be the end, but I'm not hoping so. I'm going to... Um, again, 
Uh, it's still recording. So I'm going to refill my water. I'll be right back. Don't miss me. Anything back from her? <laughs> you know, I think her phone's still dead. I know it's weird to probably be having me just kind of speak freely uh, right now, but I'll give it a couple more minutes. I'll see if she responds. I'll ask her to sh if she wants to hop on, uh, hop, hop back on. If not, then we can end it there. Um, so it is currently 11.55. I'll give it till 12 a.m., basically exactly at midnight. Um if she responds or not, or if she does, if she wants to continue, then we can continue. If she doesn't, then you know it'll be it'll be the end. Excuse me, excuse me. Uh, I think I do see her. I do see the uh, green dot going on on uh, Facebook. I don't think she's back here. Oh, what is for you? It says active now. So I'm assuming she is. Maybe. Darn, my investments are down right now. Darn, what bitch. Well, guys, my investments are down a little. Ain't that fun here, right? Yeah, totally fun to hear. Uh, anything new still shows green light it doesn't show her there I'm send her She is still on. But up, but up, but uh, probably in post, probably post edit, I might uh, cut all this long. Oh. Uh, long <laughs> nonsense you can call it um nothing no new message
Yeah, still nothing. Here in about a minute, if I don't, I'll maybe try to get, maybe try to send someone else uh, another message. Um, I mean, still nothing. It says she's on Facebook. While I'm waiting, I'm just going to switch over to here, switch over to my, um, to my podcast Facebook page, um, cause it says I got six notification, but I've already looked at all of that. So go back to my main one. No people in the lobby. Oh, there you go. Yep. And she did decide to end it there. So, if you guys enjoyed, um, if you even made it this far, I mean, I don't know if, um, if you truly made it this far. Um, but if you did, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. I will post this up on YouTube and, uh, Spotify, uh, Apple Podcasts, Pandora, everywhere. Thank you guys for listening and watching. Subscribe on YouTube if you haven't. Um, hell, subscribe on, uh, subscribe, follow on like uh, Spotify, uh, Apple Podcasts, all the other platforms where you can uh, subscribe and follow and all that fun stuff. If you haven't done so, do so. I appreciate it a lot. Like the page on Facebook and Instagram. Other than that, thank you guys, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. See ya.